In this video, we're gonna look at another inverter for a piece of neon tube. This is a different design from the last one, a little more simple, and it's got a problem. And it's gonna be a cap, we know it. Let's take a look. I tell you, whenever I have to work on my neons, I get really nervous because this is glass and it's very fragile, but I've got another one here. So it's been hanging up on the wall for a while. It's my angelfish. And as you can see, it does not want to light. It actually was lighting a little while ago. Oh, my help of a turn on the power. There. <laughs> now you can see. Maybe if I close the door and turn out the lights, you can see the problem. So what's happened on this? As you can see, we're not getting full illumination on this. There, it's starting to warm up, but it shouldn't have to do that. What's happened on here is a capacitor in this inverter has gone bad and uh, we're gonna have to fix it. I get nervous whenever I have to work on any of these things because the glass is just so damn fragile. And if the glass gets broken, well, the whole entire sculpture is a lost cause. And I have, I have a few of these that I've collected over the years. I've actually got quite, I've got quite the collection. I've had a few that have been broken, which has, not made me very happy when my kids break them. My daughter broke one um, while she had one of her friends over and uh, her and her friend were having a fight with the boy. The boy was doing something to pick on them. I think he was trying to stuff an old mattress in her bedroom or something and she was trying to throw it out at the same time. And They were having a pushing contest and well my guitar neon in the shape of a guitar was damaged it's still broken to this day I've had a couple of others that have been broken so I don't want to break any more because anybody who knows anything about neon art knows how expensive they are to buy them and how expensive they are if you have to pay somebody to fix it they are ridiculously expensive because you're you're basically pay, paying a glass blower who uh, runs a neon shop and since there are not too many of them around that's always been a hobby of mine it was or always it was always something I wanted to get into was I wanted to learn how to make neon but it's one of those things you just never got around to doing right you need uh, all the torches and you need to know how to bend glass and it's always something that was always you know on my bucket list it still is I'd love to I'd love to be able to uh, make neon but uh, it's a true craft here's the inverter for this thing it's been fixed before by the way it's, this, it's these capacitors that have gone bad on it because um, this one went bad a few years ago But I just wanted to show this design of, of, of neon uh, transformer compared to the last one that was in that clock. This one here is a, a little simpler, actually. It's a, a little drive IC and a, a transistor and a transformer. And if I had the right size of screwdriver, I could get these screws out. Okay, here's the inverter. What's it what's it using for a drive IC on this thing? Might even be a 555 timer. Set up in a stable mode. Is it a 555? Yep. Good old any 555 timer IC set up as an a stable uh, multi-vibrator. That's what they're using to drive the output transistor which drives this transformer and the failure is going to be these filter capacitors here which you can see I tacked two of them on in parallel the last time I fixed it because uh, I was hoping that it would last longer than it did and it, I mean I shouldn't say it hasn't lasted because it's been you know it's, it's probably been you know a dozen years since I uh, replaced this thing maybe, maybe not quite that but I'm trying to think how long I've had this thing I've, I've had this um, I've had this neon since about 2003, maybe 2004. It sits over top of my aquarium. 
and yeah, it, it, it came from a fish store, okay? It came from a, an aquarium store that closed their doors and they had it in their fish room. And when they were closing, I bought it from them. These are, uh, what size are these here? 220 at 50 volts. So I'm gonna go find a couple of those. Now the original one in here, I believe was a 470 at, at uh, 25 volts either 25 or 30 volts. This is just across the DC power supply. That's all this is. is just It's just a filter on the DC supply. So the unit itself is running on a 12 volt adapter. So it's not it's not drawing anywhere anywhere near the 50 volts. It's just that they dry out after a while. So I can just go back to the original size here. I, the reason I would have put two of these in at the time was because at the time I did this I wouldn't have had I didn't have a uh, I didn't have a, a 470 so I just replaced it with what I had I saw a little plus and I thought that was beside the plus lead for the uh, capacitor but it's actually not it's actually the plus lead for the power going in it's gonna leave it off the standing off the board here a bit just because uh, you know keep try to keep it away from the heat sink there's lots of room in here so there's no point in crowding it next to the heat sink and heating it up Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna bend this over to the point where it's not up against the heat sink. That should do that. Now I'm out the base back on it. I'm trying to remember exactly what year I got this thing. And uh, I thought it was around 2003, but you know it was, it was probably a little later than that. It was, it was probably 2000 and and uh, it was probably 2005 or 2006. I used to deal with a, a shop that uh, has gone out, went out of business years ago, and because uh, I've got a, I've got a nice big saltwater aquarium. So I used to deal with a shop that uh, had this hanging up in their showroom, in their fish room, and I thought it looked kind of cool. So I, when the shop was going out of business, I offered to buy it from the owner. And uh, yeah, he says, yeah, take it. Okay, so here it is. That looks a little better. It's lighting up like it should now. Another one fixed. I've got a, I've got a few of these neons that use these inverters, and then I have some that use a real transformer. The ones that use a real transformer never fail. It's just these stupid bloody. Uh, yeah, switching inverters, they're not very reliable. Anyway, thanks for watching.